Hello all, Sirius Lees here, back with some more of the Planet Crafter. We're starting right where we left off, in the middle of here. We filled up this crate a little bit. We could put more in here and come back for stuff later. I suppose we're brewing Osmium, we don't necessarily need that. We're not making Super Alloy anywhere yet, we will be. Uh, but we'll just put stuff like that in there for now, we'll take the rest. That's all it can hold. We'll come back to this crate. We're gonna have much more to loot by hopping in here. We and going down the open end of tunnel. We went in short tunnel here last time and got that blue crate. Did we get everything out of it? I don't remember. It's already been an hour or two. Let's just go take a peek real quick. We have two canisters of air. Yeah, the whole crate's gone. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So there's a lot of stuff to grab over here and it's all underwater. <clears throat> so we need a lot of air. See, ooh, look. If you don't look up when you see this, that's your loss there's a really big room up here that eventually we will be able to build and it's got tons of loot in it. We're only going to open the one side so we can get in uh, and we'll look what loot is available. I'll take a rare larva too. We need uncommons more than we really need anything else. Um, <clears throat> may as well take this technical debris. Uh, hmm. I do sort of want to try to loot this whole thing, but I'm going to stick with taking just the important stuff because there's just too much to take otherwise. Like we could delete this for the iron. Uh, speaking of, we need some oxygen. Um, <clears throat> hey, a message. Forgot about this. What do we got here? This is from Michaelis. He made a room up in here, so he found this frog place. That's important. That's important. We'll take those and that. Even though the bacteria is super duper easy to make. Uh, nothing in these. There's more technical debris. There's also more stuff for us to find at the end. So let's just delete one of these doors to get out. There's also a little shrine down here with I think Osmium in it. If we continue further on, it'll be on the right hand side here. Yeah, what do we got here? Oh, we have a flashlight too. Look at that. read message uh, from the wardens um, yeah so more osmium to take that's about all that's in there let's continue on and we'll find the stairway up into the air and we didn't bring our teleporter with us so we're gonna need that oxygen canister we have to get back out so let's let's get out of here lickety split before we run out of oxygen Turn the flashlight on. There we go. <clears throat> Didn't realize it was nighttime. And we have no jetpack in here because this is one of those newer areas. Oh, it isn't nighttime. Why can't we see anything? <laughs> Another tablet here for us to read from the wardens. This is probably where they launched their ship, the ones that did choose to leave. Now we have frog ponds here, but we don't have frog seeds available yet, do we? Uh, there's one over on this side, for sure. Yeah, no eggs, no frogs. So we will have to come back here for the golden frog seeds, no problemo. Good to know that we can get here in basically one container of air if we don't waste our breath. Are we stuck beneath the rocks? Nothing to loot in here, is there? Just the golden seeds? Okay. Well, we're gonna swim on our way out then. And ooh, 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 we need that. <clears throat> Uncommon's probably even more important than rare right now. <laughs> we need to make more bees. <clears throat> but I think what we're gonna do today is actually move the base. Or start the process. We've got plenty of resources. Um, we don't have plenty of space. <laughs> There's a lot of biodomes and butterfly domes in the way. And we don't have a lot of space to move stuff too. So we got to set up that first. It's a whole involved process. I did receive an idea 
to just replace the ground floor with a, a two by two room and an auto crafter because we don't need a bio lab for anything in specific anymore. Pretty good idea. Uh, I think they mentioned that KJ did that and that works out great. Uh, but I have all of my displays on my biodome and either way I'm gonna want a room for that. So one way or the other, we're gonna have to set up those displays. Okay, good, yeah, we did not need the air canister. If we don't dilly-dally grabbing stuff, let's dilly-dally and grab stuff since we have an air canister and we have some more slots. Uh, don't want that stuff, I would like that. <laughs> That's good stuff. There was something good in here? No, no there wasn't. Over here, it's worth taking. And that's about it. Okay, cool. We might even be able to get out of here without using the air still. Uh, we should probably just use the air. <laughs> let's, uh, yeah, let's not risk it. There we go. So, what did we get down there that we want to compare to what we put in this crate up here? I mean, it's pretty easy enough to come back here and grab this stuff, but anything we would rather not leave behind. Um, I think we brought this with us, so let's just eat that. Put an iron there, we'll take that. And uh, you know what? The rest of the stuff we'll come back for some other time. Not too vital, hopefully not too vital. <laughs> for short two iron on something, we can kick ourselves later. Alright, let me out. There we go. It'd be great if there was a nice easy way to climb up here. Oh, hey, is there? Oh, that's super easy. That's way faster. Good, good, good. Alright, back home we go. Uh, since the meteor is gone and there's trees here, I don't think we checked to see if any other further super alloy fell out of it. KJ suggested maybe it would happen. Let's take a peek while we're here. I wanted to take a break to take a sip of water anyway. Nothing on the lip. Let's check in the middle. Just a little bit of iron. I think we probably grabbed it all. We, we did a pretty thorough loot last time we were here. All right. So we are headed up that way. I can think I can see our solar panels from here. Yeah, it was the solar panels I saw. It was just like a fuzzy little blur. <laughs> All right. We have not finished putting in tier three tree spreaders, which we should really consider doing. But before we do, we need to find a space to claim for the base. Ah, I was hoping we could hop up onto there. <laughs> so we have stuff to put away. Sure, sure, sure. But first, let's take a peek. <clears throat> what I'm thinking is, since we found out last time that this doesn't match lengthwise, when we move the base, hopefully we will be able to put two more of these domes in on that side and then I don't know if it's going to be over those rocks or not. It looks like not. Maybe we can go around this rock. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like we can. We might not even be able to put a dome in here. So maybe what we'll do is we'll move this dome to s close the loop and uh, circle it over here with another dome there. This dome we're probably going to want to be part of the base because we produce stuff. This just produces uh, insects. Hey, speaking of, there's one. Oh, right. Let's put the stuff away. It should still be there when we get back. We're not leaving the area, so it shouldn't despawn. Um, everywhere is full of stuff and things. 
<clears throat> this is why I want to move the base. Uh, we're running out of space anyway, so we may as well move the base, right? Uh, I don't think we have room downstairs for much either. Super alloy. We're probably going to need to build a couple of rooms. Iron is full up, so that's a good. We've got plenty of building materials. Alright. Grubs are away. Uh, one last thing before we look for a spot. Once again, how close are we? We're at 18 out of 50. We're nowhere near it. Okay. <laughs> Darn. Oh well. Uh, yeah, let's take a peek. So I would like to build a base that has a fairly large surface area. So we need a decent space to build this in, open space. This area over here might do. Ah, oh, we missed this rock. Can we, can we go up through the rock? No. These rocks we can climb. Let's take a peek from up here. Um, <clears throat> if we put it over that rock, we might get some height and some space. Takes up the area we want and gets a good view of our waterfall. Without being too close to that forest, we can put more trees in over on that side. Yeah, all right, so this area over here between this side of the arch. Uh, we're not carrying any iron. Let's uh, let's pick some stuff off, off, off the ground. It's, it's right here. Let's take a peek at what we need for large rooms. <clears throat> KJ wants to see a big base. <laughs> uh, I do prefer a cozier base, but we can build a big base. That's no problem. That base is too cozy. That's not cozy. That's cramped. We need cozy, not cramped. If we had more decorative material and we could actually put it on the walls of those big rooms, the curved rooms, uh, that would be super duper. I'd feel great about making large, super sized bases. <clears throat> but as it feels uh, a little bit empty, especially the 3x3 three three rooms, when we get those, it's hard to fill one of those up. and have it look not like a auditorium. Okay, so from here-ish. Yeah, I might be tall enough to go over most of the terrain. Let's see. Yeah, that's going to work out just fine. That's going to go all over all the terrain, so we can build a nice big building platform there, and we should probably do that first, since we do have a decent chunk of iron in our stores. Let's check these two. Perfect. shouldn't get in the way, I don't think. We'll find out. Depends how tall we're going to build, right? I also <coughs> didn't realize that rock we were looking at from up on the arch was a zeolite rock. Well, <coughs> it was a rock beside a zeolite log. I would love to get more building area. Ooh, look how off the ground we are over here. Can we 
fit that in? Yeah, we can. Cool. Uh, come on. There we go. So now I, I will have one to snap it to there as well. Uh, but we got to get these ones in first if we're going to start putting stuff on top of them. Well, we've got tons of room to go in this direction, so let's go in this direction. Looks like we are not phasing into the ground on the bottom. I can see the green outlines. When that starts going away... Alright, well that's way more than enough room here. Yeah, we're way off the ground on this side as well. You know what? Let's truncate that a bit. We do not need a super duper big base like this. Eventually, I would like a 3x3 three three room on this side, a little central core of 2x2 two two rooms, and then a 3x3 three three room on this side. So, what we're going to have to build that out of, since we don't have the 3x3 three three room for a very long time, is 2x2 two two rooms and normal size rooms. So, what do our 2x2 two two rooms cost? Super alloy, two super alloy each. I am going to need... Three of those rooms to start. So we need six super alloy. Uh, what were the other components? <laughs> Iron and titanium. We need a lot more titanium. And probably iron as well. Super alloy. Okay, good. We easily have six. we do not need. Uh, silicon we're going to need for a door. Oh. Um, one, two, three. One, two, three. We're going to only put two of these in at a time, I guess. For now. I do want to see how much room they take up. We're just going to put one down here and then delete it. Let's get a couple more base parts in. Oops. Uh, that should probably do. <clears throat> now... like them to have like a little balcony on the front edge to step out onto before we go down the ladder. That looks centered back and forth, I think. Okay, something is... Oh, right, this is a 2x2 two two room, not a 3 x <laughs> First of all, <clears throat> first of all, that's one thing. Secondly, um... That's not bad. But I think what might be easier is if we start with these on the corner where I want them and snap it to that. These are a lot easier to center on these rooms here. That looks good to me. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Okay, so now can I snap this to that? And what does that look like? So from the edge, hello. One, two, three and almost four for a three by three room. Okay. And then I think what we're gonna do, don't have much more iron. Um, let's get these in. Come 
went. Ah, oh, whatever. You go there then. Okay, so we need more iron. Let's uh, maybe pick it up off the ground because we're gonna run out really quick back at base. Did not realize how much this was gonna take. We also need a ton of iron for storage. Let's head over here to our hut and see if we've got anything in storage over there while we pick up iron along the way. We are also waiting for uh, natural larvae to spawn that aren't just common. And, uh, somebody else was doubting that you can get them to spawn in just by spinning around. I, I have definitely seen them pop in at my feet with no hand <clears throat> on the keyboard at all. So just keep moving around. Anyway, we don't have all day to wait. We have all the oxygen in the world, but uh, it is odd. Okay, if we take like one step and one spawns in, well, we'll know I was wrong. Okay, we actually moved and no, still none popped in. Not moving anymore. Can't even remember what color it is that spawns in over here of special butterfly. All right, iron it is. Let's go back for iron. Nope, nothing there. Okay. here. Uh, we can probably place over these things, but we want to pick them up just so we don't consume them, because uh, we won't be able to pick them up later once stuff's on top of it. Not without deleting a bunch of stuff first. We don't necessarily need all of these frames over here. I don't think it's going to come this far, actually, with the plan I have. Let's find out. Be enough. It's so hard to see at night. <laughs> that should be enough. So we're going to want a two by two room in the middle, I said. Pick up that larva that's in the way. Do I have enough stuff to make one? No, I need more iron. All right, fine. Still need iron for another one after that. Oh, you know what? We need food. Um, <clears throat> downstairs, right? Yeah, you can keep making food. It's fine. Weird lighting changes there. That was interesting. All right, so two by two room, and I'm gonna snap this one forward. There we go, like that, exactly. And let's see, before I put the next set in, can I do what I was saying and snap this still? No, see, it red states. This room gets in the way, so you gotta put these in first, okay? So either I move this whole set back a bit, which I think is what I'm going to do, delete those two, we will snap another row here. Oh, 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 we might be out of luck anyway. That's only too deep. This is going to be a 3x3, three three, so this is already going to be 
height. We're not gonna have a back balcony if we do this. Let's put it that way. Ah, a tiny, tiny back balcony. That's fine. That's fine. So this should be enough room to snap our rooms in for now. Let's put... And we can delete that. And that. Wow, we barely have enough room for that. And we'll snap this in to those two. Come on, any day now. There we go. Then, plenty of iron left. No, uh, yeah, there we go. Excellent. Um, door? We're, we don't have titanium. Plenty of that lying around. Oh, hello, rare larva. Thank you. Thank you. We need two titanium, though, if we want to put in uh, another door there. Which we do. If this is the front entrance with two doors, we want it to have two doors. Excellent. Okay. So, step three. We need another iron and three titanium for. There we go. We have enough room over here. Come on, let me up there. Uh, yeah, we're kind of close. Let's give it a try. Guys, get out of the way. I'm trying to build here. <laughs> uh. Guys. Come on. <laughs> okay, big room. Snapping to the back corner there. Perfect. Now we have platform all the way around. Yeah, all the way around. Cool. How much room do we have back here to build, though? Because what I'm thinking is this is where we snap our biodome. We have no iron left. <laughs> This way. We haven't been this way yet. Lately. Alright, we're running out of time for today. So we've got a base structure built. We didn't move anything else over. Oh, hey, what's this for? Oh, right, because we're going off the ground. So it looks like we have enough room here. To snap a biodome. Uh, it's almost even centered on those platforms. Uh, not biodome, biolab. And uh, I just like the biolab. I know we could make it, we could replace the whole thing with an autocrafter, and we're gonna replace that for crafting for sure. But uh, yeah, I, I like how it looks. It's a cool room. And I want it to stick out a bit in the back because it's got cool natural windows. So do we have time? Yeah, maybe. No, we got so much stuff to take out of our biolab that we don't have time to move it over today because I have to delete all of these remove everything in here and here all of this stuff all these things it's all got to leave before I can delete that one <sighs> all right well we started the process today we got the base moving along 
Oh, we're not done. We're not done. A little bit left to go. I forgot this side has to go out three and back three. So it's gonna it's gonna stick out even more. We need this one to be complete, this row, and we might need to go one further back than I thought. Mm. It's tight, but it should fit. We're not gonna be impacting that. Okay. Good enough. Good to know though. I could see that it wasn't symmetrical from over there on the biodomes. But that will do for today, everyone, and we'll be back for Friday to do a little bit more. Until then, have a good time.